what's going on youtube ali dope checking in once again with another horror cover art it's still the season we still in it so this more or less is focused on the the fog text um i just added the cover art with some other elements just for to fill it in but for the most part from here to four minutes is pretty much going to be the the text aspect if you want to just use that on one of your future movie posters cover arts or something like that all right so first you just want to pick your font to start off with i usually typically try to go with a gothic type font for you know horror or anything that's going to be based with red or like green something like that or serif font off of the font somewhere like that just search you can find a good one don't forget to like and subscribe man you guys have been showing me so much love you guys have been downloading my packs i really appreciate it. you guys are really keeping me motivated so I'm, hopefully i'm doing you guys good service by you know being consistent now we're just adding a slight motion blur to the overall text then we're gonna make that a smart object and then you're gonna actually give it another type of blur a gaussian blur and then after that you're gonna distort and wave this file now you can play with your settings stuff like that or you could just pause the screen and copy my settings So now we have a nice font, nice little style we have going on. I like this. So you're going to make a new layer and then you're going to add clouds. Okay, now we're going to set this to color dodge. It might look weird at first, but trust me. You're going to make a new layer. Okay. this with the color that you want I'm gonna use red and now we're gonna simply brush on the layer and it's gonna show the clouds that's on top yeah, cool see because it's color dodging over top of the brush layer which is a red brush but the background is black you see how it works so just fill it in to your desire. Okay, cool. Now, you want to overlay that, copy that text, bring the opacity down just a little bit, and we're going to add a little bit of motion blur to it. This is the duplicate version. Now, with that, now we can rasterize it, and we're just going to smudge it a bit. I like to add a little drop shadow sometimes just to give it some depth, which you don't have to. It's totally up to you. Now, like I said, this is going to be extra. The fog text is pretty much done. If that's all you want it, I appreciate a subscribe or a like right now. Check out my website. Let me know if I helped you. Send me DMs on Instagram. I'm always on Instagram at Ali Dope at Only Dope. Um, this, I'm just adding a simple background now of like a graveyard. Like I said, this is going to be a super simple cover. Like, I'm, like I really just did it for the text, but these are just extras so I'm adding a picture of NBA young boy it's the name of his song Reaper's Child off the top album so I just made it like if it was a cover art to one of the songs off the album steel tongue text for the top text and you just gotta position everything right so everything fits i really should have just erased some of his necklace 
and just left it how it was because I like this positioning better than him on the side, which I'm about to do right now. But it is what it is, you know. Art is all about playing around and what fits best and what you think looks right. Nobody's always right 100%. a little benches film frame on this and parental advisory just to make it look official tissue but other than that yeah guys i appreciate you watching if you're still watching this long for real if you're watching this long comment taco salad in the description <laughs> with the taco emoji <laughs> but anyways just screen the vintage frame on there and just lighten it up until next time you guys you know i'll leave you checking out don't forget to like comment subscribe share to your fellow artists and enjoy have fun